What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Duel. I'm your host, Showtime. Today, we're doing a spotlight featuring Entei. I mean, last week, I got a lot of slack because uh, I was saying I was touting Entei as one of the best pseudo runners in the game, as, long, as well as one of the better gold blockers in the game. But today, I'm going to actually spotlight a game in where I was forced to go first and I was able to put Entei on the gold. So, without further ado, here we go. Alright, so I was forced to go first, so I brought out my Entei, and I brought him one step away from my entry point, and he brings out his Coco, so of course I'm going to go passive, I'm going to put Entei on my entry point. He brings out his uh, Sceptile, so I'm going to go ahead and try to find a good matchup for the Sceptile, which uh, Lunala is okay, it's not the best matchup, but it's okay. He brings out his Raikou, and for Raichu, I'm able to bring out Sogalia, which which is a, it's a nice matchup. He brings out his Lunala on the left side, and I'm able to bring out my Deoxys attack form. Hopefully I can respin if I get into any trouble over there. He brings out his Terrakian on the right side and the perfect counter to that is Blaziken because Blaziken has no blue. You know, he, bring, he brings his Coco in the middle trying to set up a trap so I got to get aggressive. I bring, his, I bring up my, my Blaziken and I and I try to knock out the Terrakian and, and no, a Jet Kick. A Jet Kick lands. Wow. That's a level 10 Blaziken and he's landing a Jet Kick? Oh man. So that puts me in a really bad predicament. Uh, he advances with his Terrakian. I go ahead, I, packs up, I pop a Max Revive, and I'm saying, wait a minute, let me go ahead with Blaziken. There's no way in the world I'm, I'm going to land Jet Kick twice in a row, right? Wrong. So, another Jet Kick, another Blaziken fail. He ran a put he spent the Protect anyway, so it didn't even matter. It's his turn again. He's going to use X to tackle his Lunala against my... He acts as attack form, so I'm in a lot of trouble here because that's a very favorable matchup for him. And the Moon by Geist Beam roll. So I'm going to go ahead and respin him. Hopefully, I can get a miss for him to roll. No. So he knocks me out. So now my Deoxys attack form goes straight to the PC. And I bring up my Sceptile. I'm in a world of hurt. And uh, he's going to bring his Raikou up. And he attacks my Sogaleo. Oh, wow. And 120, no, 141 because he gets the buff from Tapu Koko. And my Sogalia goes to the hurt. That's two Pokemon on, in the PC for me. And uh, I'm in a world of hurt now. And I'm bringing up my Sceptile, trying to, to, do some, to do some work. And no, it's a fail. I'm losing all the rolls this game. Every roll, no roll has gone my way yet. He goes ahead and takes my entry point. I'm really backed up now. I gotta try to fight my way out this corner. So I'm, I'm attacking with Blaze Kid and finally Blaze Kid prevails. Finally. Alright, RNG. It's time to turn turn the heads to tails now. Back to me. So you advance with this Raikou. And I I backtrack with my Lunala, you know, just trying to save face. So he brings up his Sceptile, so he's really, really applying the pressure. So forget that. I'm going for the gusto. He's applying pressure on me, so I got to go ahead and apply pressure on him. I can't be that defensive that I allow myself to be taking out this game. So he's going to bring his Kabunk Thrust against my Blaziken, and bam, I win, I win the roll. But he double chance, and he's going to try to get a Cyclone Kick as well, but to no avail. So I Cyclone Kick him out of here. My Blaziken knocks out the Kabuskin. I'm going to go ahead and take the entry point, and now I'm applying pressure on him. So what, what's, what's next? He's going to max revive his Terrakian. His Terrakian he brings on close to the goal, but that's, that's not good enough. I bring up my Deoxys on my entry point. Try to knock out this, uh, this Sceptile. Respin him. That self fit is not what I was looking for. And he gets one, and that's it. That's it. So I'm able to knock out the Sceptile. I've evened the matchup. We both have two Pokemon in the PC. He goes ahead and takes the goal, and... Uh, the balls in my court. I go ahead and I bring up my Deoxys attack for him. So he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna attack my Entei. My Entei is on a goal. This is an Entei spotlight. What do you guys think that happens? Boom! Fierce Raw. So Fierce Raw is a three-star purple, which is perfect for stalling. It puts, it gives him weight, and I'm I'm fine. My Entei is holding up the goal. So it gives it gives Deoxys a, a chance to actually. Um, go ahead and attack the Tapu Koko, and that's because Entei was able to hold his own on the goal. So this opponent is like, wait a minute, Entei's not supposed to, and he attacks Entei again, and what happens? 
Bam! Another fierce roar. This Ente is holding up his goal, holding up the goal on his own. That's another save. So I'm able to go ahead and put some extreme pressure on the entry point. I mean, on the goal point. And he goes ahead, goes ahead, and he cyclone kicks my Deoxys. But no, I'm gonna respin him. I'm not going down like this. And no, he still cyclone kicks. He goes ahead and cyclone kicks. My Deoxys attack form goes to the PC. His Kabuskin evolves to a Blaziken, and now the Blaziken is, is, is ripping and roaring. So I, it's either now or never. So I'm going ahead to knock out this Terrakian with my Blaziken, because that's a favorable matchup for me, and I win it. I knock him out. So now he has to cover up gold with his Blaziken, right? Right? That's what he has to do, right? Nope, he has a trick up his sleeve. He evolves. He evolves into Mega Blaziken. So Mega Blaziken is on the oh, going to step on the goal. And now Normal Blaziken is, is shivering. What is? Oh no, he attacks the Normal Blaziken. And he lands a 4-star Wall Crusher. But no, Blaziken lands a Jet Kick. And Jet Kick, the Blaziken knocks out the Mega Blaziken. So the Mega Blaziken goes to the bench after I hop over the Mega Blaziken. Wow, what a turn of events. So the Mega Blaziken goes to the bench. I advance with my Sogaleo. And he has one opportunity with the Sceptile. The Sceptile goes ahead and, and he tries to knock out the Blaziken. And he succeeds. This is the fourth Jet Kit my Blaziken has rolled this game. And this is a level 10 Blaziken. This is not a normal Blaziken. So I advance to my Solgaleo. And the opponent has a decision to make now. And he goes ahead and he tries to knock out. No, but Entei prevails again. Entei with another save on the goal. So guys, this is why Entei is so, so important. This is why I like Entei. He's able to not only hop over my own entry point in the beginning of the game, but when it really matters, he can survive in battles and he can actually win battles. This Entei is this is the third or the fourth save he's had on the goal. He's been on the goal point since the beginning of the game. The Lunala is steady trying to take him out, but the Entei has saved it time and time again, allowing me to advance. So I'm gonna go ahead and advance my Sogaleo. And now he has one last turn with the Sceptile to knock out my Sogaleo. And what does he land? He lands on a Stealthus, so he'll be able to hop over and land on a goal. But no, Sogaleo's ability does not let him hop over. So Sogaleo was able to capture the goal, goal point and Showtime with another win. Guys, if you like the content, please smash, smash that like button. Um, subscribe to the channel. I want to thank all the subscribers I have right now. Currently, I'm up to 32. I appreciate all you guys. Thanks for watching. Showtime's out. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.